what's up guys slingshot here and today i'm going to be showing you guys how to back up and restore your ps4 to an external hard drive as i'm basically going to be upgrading my normal 500 gig which is like absolutely a waste of time to a fantastic two terabyte drive so this is the uh, latest firmware that i'm currently running which is 2.5 so basically what I'm going to be going now is going to my settings and then we'll go all the way to the system and then we'll go all the way to backup and restore and then we'll click backup PS4 and then basically what's going to happen is that I've got a external hard drive already um, plugged into my PS4 so that basically I can back up my internal to this external and then obviously I will take you through the rest of the processes so basically what we are going to be doing now is backing up my captures the save data settings as well as the applications and that includes all the patches and all those downloadable um, items so basically this is it I know if you have approximately about 400 gigs and then you have to back it up to a sizable drive which needs to obviously be either 500 gig or more because obviously you're replacing that um, it basically needs to be bigger than the 500 or 500 at least so um, you basically copy that and the duration for copying about 400 uh, gigs is approximately eight hours so um, I'm going to just go next and then the nice thing is the PS4 will obviously restart and then the items you selected will be backed up to the USB storage device and then um, you've got the dates over there which is also fantastic so uh, let's back this puppy up so basically backing up uh, 96 gigs will approximately take you about an hour and a half uh, so I'll just speed up this video and then continue once the backup process has been completed Okay, so before I install my new hard drive into the PS4, it's always best to go to your trophies and then just do a quick sync with the PlayStation Network so that all the trophies that you obviously accessed and achieved beforehand will now be synced to the network and then it will be ready for access when you install the new hard drive. So let me get ready to install my new 2 terabyte. We'll see you now. Okay guys, so basically I backed up my PS4 to an external hard drive and then I've also synced my trophies to the PlayStation Network and now it's time to replace the internal hard drive which is the normal 500 gig to the 2 terabyte drive so this is the drive that I've got it is a Seagate Backup Plus it's a slim, it's a 2 terabyte and this one costs about 1,399 Rand in South Africa so it's approximately $120 and it's an external drive um, and then basically you just pop it open and it is now an internal drive so let me just show you guys how to open up the PS4 and you have access to the internal drive okay so what you'll need to do is you can just hold the side of here and then just a quick tug and you'll see it will open and just pull it a bit and there we go I think a nice thing to also do is basically um, clean it of dust there is particles dust over there and this is obviously the hard drive bay and then you'll see this is a funky PlayStation um, screw so just have a look at it Okay, so let's unscrew this puppy. There we go. And then this will just slide out like that. And that's the hard drive that's in the PS4 currently. We'll just remove it you'll see there's some screws on the side which will obviously need to uh, remove it's on that side and then there's two on this side as well which we'll just remove now 
Okay, so the screws are removed. There was one there, there's one on that side, one on that side, and then one on this side. So I'm going to slide it out the caddy, and then this is my new 2 terabyte drive, which I'm going to be installing. Okay guys, so my drive is now installed in the caddy, and uh, now I'm going to put it back into the PS4. So we'll just pop it in like this. Um, just another note for you guys that are um, basically upgrading the PS4 drive is that you got to make sure that the drive that you are installing um, in terms of the size wise needs to be 9.5 millimeters thin. If it's obviously uh, thicker than that then the drive won't fit into the PS4 so please make sure when you are buying a new hard drive and upgrading your PS4 that um, that you, those requirements are definitely met so we're just going to take the case the cover back on and then we'll quickly just press it in like that and it's good to go just another note um, since I am installing this new hard drive I will also need to download the original firmware that's not the normal firmware which is about 256 megs roundabout this firmware is obviously the original firmware when you are upgrading your hard drive it's approximately about 900 megs so a one gig flash disk will be sufficient so uh, let me not waste any time i'm going to copy the files onto my flash disk and get ready to update the ps4 console cool we'll see you guys shortly so in order to install the new system software you need to boot the console in safe mode and how you do that is if you hold the power button for at least seven seconds or until you hear a second beep that is when the console will boot into a safe mode. From there onwards, you can install the new system software and then you are good to go. Okay guys, so after reinstalling the PlayStation firmware, um, I'm brought to obviously the introduction as if it's a brand new console, which it kind of is since I got a new hard drive in. So I'm just a normal user. So let me just show you the hard drive. Go to user system storage management and you can see 1.77 terabytes so at this point I'm about to restore my backup that obviously I made so we'll go into system and then we'll continue to backup and restore and then restore PS4 I've obviously inserted my backup drive over there and as you can see it's 96 gigs and um, that's obviously from a PlayStation so we'll restore this system will be restored with a backup you selected. Obviously, everything else will be deleted, etc. 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 So let's do it. Restore. Yes, yes, yes. Warning, warning, warning. Restore. So at this point, we are preparing to restore. Do not turn off the PS4. When the restoration is complete, the PS4 will automatically restart. So this is quite exciting. I'm going to forward this video. And I will let you guys know when we are back. What's up guys? So I'm back after 45 minutes. My PlayStation has finally restored. As you can see, I'm logged in. I've got my games over there. And then if I go over to my settings, system storage management. And you can see my free space is 1.67 terabytes. Well, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And you guys have learned how to back up and restore your PS4 hard drive. I obviously backed up my 500 gig and then upgraded to a 2 terabyte drive and therefore also restored it. So uh, if you have any questions or queries about the whole process, um, use the comment section below and I will see if I can help you guys out. But from me, Slingshot, I'm Arya. Peace!